Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI. As I continue this blind let's play. Uh, last time we freed Snufflehive from uh, Frizzabel. Of course, she is actually still in the castle. Um, you know, the queen decided to spare her and everything. Um, and we also, uh, you know, got the last of the orbs. So we are ready to go to the first forest. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, um, if I remember right, through the snare felt, um, and I think maybe even through, uh, Aborea. So that's where we're gonna go. Oh wait, we're already healed up. Never mind. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see, is there anything I want to else do here? That's the bar. You, you have to have a coat. Come on now. You need a coat. It is freezing up here. All right. So I'm just gonna take a quick look around. Oops! I did not mean to do that. There we go. I think what I'm gonna do is, um, you know, head towards Aboria. Um, when I get there, uh, probably then zoom to another location on the map because I want to, before I actually go to the first forest, um, I think I will... Oh, let's, let's just start hitting there now. I think I will... Oh, wait. Hang on. We can just go to the front gate. Sorry, let me finish the thought. <laughs> I think I'll go around to some of the other, uh, you know, places on the world map and, um, you know, just kind of explore... The rest of it, and well, hang on. Cutscene. What are you doing, loitering by the docks, Eric? None of your business. So, did you get the orb or what? We did, and all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. Mm. Huh? What's wrong, Rab? Oh, it's nothing, lassie. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the mighty Sir Hendrik. You don't think it could have been Mordigan himself, do you? I wish I knew, Serena. Really, I do. Well, standing around here guessing won't do us any good. We've a tree of life to be getting to. Uh, well, we know who that is. Uh, Jasper. Um, I kind of wish Eric or the main character would. Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Yggdrasil! Uh-huh. Crivens! <laughs> how, how, how did that get there? Ooh, is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? I thought you said it was a spell book. That's hilarious. Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. <gasps> Sir Rab, you have been caught red-handed and red-faced. And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. Ah. Oh. Come on, Rab. But wait, you, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. Purely for research. <laughs> oh, man. Articles, I tell ye. Oh, this game. Icebreaker. Uh. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, where's the tree? Because he pointed this direction. I'm like, it's it's right there. <laughs> but I guess maybe the forest or is actually over there. Whatever. Um. 
But yeah, like I was saying, we know who that person is, Je uh, you know, is Jasper. Um, you would think Easy, or you know, my main character, and uh, Eric might put two and two together again, but alas. Oh wait, where am I going? Uh, well actually, yeah, just to show off, so yeah. Um, wait. It shows there was some kind of... We could go from here to that other place? I, I don't know, that's weird. Um, but I'm going to... Like, before I, like, totally go to Yggdrasil, I'm going to go to the island up to the north, and then to the island off to the far east. Um, and then maybe check out that center part as well. Um, uh, come on. Uh, there we go. But yeah, my, my plan is though is to actually go to Arboria to unlock it so it's, so we can fast travel there. And also level, uh, you know, in the process. Because, uh, hey, after that, the previous fight, I know we did it, we had to switch out party members and all that fun stuff, but I think we're getting to the point where I need to start getting into more encounters before I, uh, Go behind. Like so. Veronica wins again. Also think that I'm going to hang on. Um... Ah, oh, forget it. Oh well. Let, let's just keep going. I was gonna say, I think this time I'm gonna, uh, you know, make sure this is a longer video. Um... And... I don't know, we'll, we'll see what, you know, what all we do this video. But I, I wanna try to make it a little bit longer. Even if it's gonna take, you know, longer to upload, etc. But... Yeah. There we go. Swoosh on Serena. Twisted Talons. Excellent. Oops. Fine fur. All right. How close is anybody else? Okay, Jade's about to level up. Rab has oh, okay, because Rab just leveled up. Um. So let's say let's get Jade and uh Savando up at least once. Hang on, I'm coming over here to check out see if there's a chest or anything. Hang on, hang on. Anything. Anything over here. Ooh. Hang on. What is this? Is that a dragon? Looks like a dragon. I'm gonna bypass it for now. Um, because the last time we faced one of those, half the party, like, died. Or at least the ones that were, you know, in the uh, front four, so. Alright, let's... Get into one more combat before we uh, journey on to Boria. I also want to make sure I gather up enough money, um, or at least a good bit of money, 
Nice. Um, you know, to go back to uh, Sniffleheim and you know, grab some of those items before we go to Yggdrasil. Alright. So... Oh man, look at that thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's rest up. Not gonna save. Uh, could we... I mean, I've been failing at forging a lot of stuff, so, I mean... Go to it uh, until dawn. So yeah, I'm just gonna just hold off on forging just for a little bit. Whoa, look at this! Uh... What is that? Oh, oh my goodness, I, I see it now. So yeah, some kind of dragon in case of eyes. Nice. Whoa. Okay. I think that was just on my end. The, you know, with the frame rate, so, I don't know, whatever. Passes to Borean Highlands! I'm really excited. Yeah! Yeah, there's a Borean. Okay, then there's the first force. Okay. I thought this was the case. So yeah, we're gonna go to Borea, make sure we get that city, probably explore it a little bit, then zoom out of here, and then travel by boat, explore some of the other places, and then come back to the first forest. I think I'll try to do all this in one video. It's probably gonna be a super long video. Um, that's kind of what I want to plan to do. You know, let's face one of these guys. Okay, not he wasn't bad. Ooh. Veronica really needs more defense. Oh no, why'd I do that? Thank you, Rab. Oh, wow, he's still going. Veronica wins again. Oh wow, that was a good bit of experience we just got. I might have to face more of those when I come back here. Um, because my goodness. Uh, do we have to? It looks like we probably do. Just double check. Yep, okay, so let's get into one of these. Oh no, it missed. That's fine, I guess. Actually, Rab is paralyzed, so I'm gonna mid heal Rab. There we go. Another victory. 
Well, let's quickly heal everybody. All right, guys. All right, guys. You you don't have to get this close. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Back up. Back up. There we go. I'm really excited to see Veronica and Serena's mountain home. We got that. Oops. Okay, yeah. I was making sure we were still going the right way, but yes. Oh, look! I, uh, hang on. Of course, we're now closer to Yggdrasil, so we can see it better. I can't look up all the way, but there it is. Alright, I'm gonna assume... I don't need this anymore. There we go. Yeah! I mean, they're like right there, Aborea is. Oh, nice, and look at that. Well, you, you can, can't really see it uh, through the mountain pass, but yeah, just a little bit of a view. Yo! Nice. Grove of Repose, the cathedral, and the mountaintop. Like the music. Who would have thought a place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail? It's breathtaking. Oh, stop it, you. You're making me blush. Although, I suppose the old hometown is pretty amazing. Wait, you mean this is... It is indeed. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers. The ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches. And of Veronica and I. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. The altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. Right on. Great and glorious Idrisil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends, and another begins. O oh, mighty Mother Idrisil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent vows. Ah. Well, well. Our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not... taller when last we met? Well... It's a long story. Anyway, that's not 
not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. The luminary. Can it really be? Oh, what a blessed day this is. Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the luminary also. I am Benedictus, High Priest of Arborea. And I have waited my whole life for this moment. Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the luminary beside you. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me, and I will show you the way. <laughs> I like how they have that dialogue, where you could always, you could already come here um, if you didn't have them all already. And I don't know, I, just a nice touch. I, I like it. Um, so yeah. Hello? Don't mind us. Just the luminary coming in and stealing your stuff, that's all. Ah, here we go. Supplicate. You know, um, I wonder which one's supposed to be Veronica and Serena's home. Ah, Luminary! Welcome to Aborea. I'm Fidelis. Fidelis, or wh whatever. Proud father of... Well, shoot, I didn't even realize. Proud father of Veronica and Serena. I always knew that my little angels would find you. I only hope that they have not been chased, causing you too much trouble. So you are the Luminary. You are younger than I expected. Ah, uh, but forgive me. I've not introduced myself. I am Alma, Veronica and Sarita's mother. The responsibilities of your role no doubt weigh heavily upon your shoulders. I trust that my daughters will do all they can to lighten that burden. Well, awesome. Well, hang on. Let's just take a quick look back around here. And this is their home. Um, oh, hello, buddy. It's funny we keep seeing those things. Um, like, I know we see those with the, you know, that optional uh, 2D mode and whatnot, but... Anyways. So yeah, that looked like a little cozy home. So that's the shop. Ah, uh, the church or save point. You know what? Well, now. Uh... I don't need to say it. Not now. Alrighty. There's the end. Um, I wonder what's at the grove. 
When I get done looking at the houses, I'm going to check out the grove before I go anywhere else. Wait a minute. I feel like that's that same symbol that was on that magical door in uh, Swordus. However you say that place's name. But yeah, in those ruins. Um, I wonder if we get some kind of key here. Okay, that's a temple or cathedral, my bad. Um, so wait, we have the mountaintop, we have the grove, and the first horse? Okay, well, let's go to the grove first. Oh, hang on, we gotta take a look at this vista. Love it. To think that the luminary himself should be present at my son's baptism. Truly, the world tree must have great things in store for this boy. Wait, oh, okay. I mean, maybe. He, uh, could be the next Dragon Quest hero, who knows. Alright, let's check out this grove. Unless we can't, hang on. This pass, pass, path, oh my god. Path leads to a small core. Uh, cove, whatever. Uh, there's a little, there's little there save abiding aura of serenity. But this is no bad thing. When we were children, Veronica, Serena, and I would often go there to play. Ah, such happy memories. Goodness, forgive me as I keep st stumbling over words. For reference, it is, uh, you know, a new day. It's actually in the morning for me. It's on a Sunday. And, uh, yeah. So we'll see. Uh, hi? I'm rather poorly. The doctor said that he doesn't know how to make... Make me better. I think I might know a way. My grandfather once told me about a magical flower called a wisteria. He said that when they bloom, they grant a single wish. If you're ever playing a trip to the first world, yes, we'll we're playing a trip right now. Just let me know. It might be my only hope. Wait, that's not a quest? That's weird. Yeah, that's really weird. That's. There's no music. I don't know about y'all, but that just this just makes it eerie for me. I don't, I don't know what it is, but yeah, no music at all, and just I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take a quick peek. At the mountaintop area. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Path leads to the, to the mountain. It's a sacred place where none may set foot without the Holy Father's permission. Forgive me, but I must ask you to turn back. Okay. In that case... Let's see, they don't have any weapon shots or anything here. So, let's, let's talk to the party. Serena and I are the scion, are the scions of uh, Serenica. At least that's what Father Benedictus told us when we were born. He also saw that we had an incredible proficiency for magic, and had us steadily studying the secrets of spellcasting from our very first day in school. Serena's magical ability may have been divided between us, but with her powers combined, with our powers combined, we're just as tough as the sage of legend herself. That's why Father Benedictus told us, when we set off to find you, that I mustn't go running off on my own like I usually do. As So long as Serena and I are together, we're unstoppable. Whenever a baby is born in the village, we often offer our thanks to Almighty Idrisil and ask for her to watch over the newborn. I've seen, a lot, I've seen lots of baptisms over the years, but they're always very special moments. You're only young once, after all. We've just got to head out, uh, head, head the back of the city, uh, get, oh my god, cathedral, and we'll finally be face to face with the world tree. You're ready to be amazed, easy. 
We're in for one heck of a view. See, Eric knows what's up. So this Aboria, hmm. it doesn't seem like the most fun-loving place I've ever seen. Where's the music, the life, the action? Don't these people ever get bored of drinking tea and praying? There, the first force just through the cathedral. And it's onward and upwards to, uh, to the world tree. We've been on the road a fair wee while, but our journey nearly, our journey's nearly at an end. Well, the first part at least. Once you're kitted out with whatever power an Yggdrasil has to offer you, the fun can really begin. Morgan's clock is well and truly ticking. Aren't they just lovely? You know that couple in the square with the new newborn baby? They reminded me of King Erwin and Queen Eleanor. And you. I don't want any happy families to be torn apart again, easy. We have to defeat Mortigan. Yes, we do. Ooh, man, look at this view. Nice. Alright. Now, with all that said... So yes, we can now fast travel here. Oh yeah, I, I didn't realize it, but yeah, there's the... Uh side content. Anyways, um, oh wait. So we have been there. I mean, that's Octagonia, of course. So yeah, let's check out the islands and I think call that uh, hmm. No, yeah, I think it'll be faster just to zoom. Hang on. Um, Next page. Oh. Yeah. Let's go there. I thought about walking all the way back, but no. Let's, uh... Let's just go here. Let's go, Dave. Okay. Oh, yeah. We haven't been to that other port place. Um, near... Sniffleheim. Let's try it. And I guess if the enemies are in certain areas too tough, then we'll just go straight to the world tree. Better level. So let's try this way. At the Viking Hideout. Okay. Oh yeah, this place. Okay. Uh, let's say before we talk to anybody. Oh good. HP is restored. So if it just restored our HP, is there like an optional boss or something we're about to face? Welcome, Traveler. You are either brave or stupid to sail into our hideout so blazingly. We are the Vikings, dreaded scourge of the northern seas. What business do you have with us? If it is Sniffleheim you seek, you're in the wrong place. Raise your anchor and sail around to the Cape East. Well, no, I just wanted to check this place out. Um... Let's see. Oh man, they got a lot of gold. Can I just take up and take it? Yeah. But no. Looks like the leader. You're a long way from home, World Walker. I'm the chief of the Vikings, and this is my hideout. What do you think you're doing here? If you ain't here to cause trouble, you can stick around. So long as I've got the wind in my sails, gold in my hold, and flagon full of meat. I'm happy. 
The world might be going to rack and ruin all around us, but that don't mean nothing to me. Oh, okay. Just casually looking at the gold. Okay, I'll throw it like tight. Oh, it's another one of those things. Uh. Wonder what's over here? If anything's over here. Oh, okay. Looks like more crafting. Brighton Rock. Interesting. Yeah, I'm guessing some material that is used for, you know, some special crafting purposes. Alright, before we go in there, let's go down the well. Oh wait, there's a bed down here? What? Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, everybody's already healed up, so I mean... Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Oh, another rock. Okay. Alright, now let's check out the door. Door won't budge, alright. I just realized there's that area right past this. Alright. Let us go. And maybe I should just go, um, you know, straight to the first first forest and all that, but I just want to make sure. Alright. So yeah, let's circle around. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> and we'll also see how tough the enemies are up here. Oh, they're not bad. There we go. <laughs> okay, we're on this side, so... That's weird, it looks like it leads us back to there. Um, let's try it, let's just see. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, it does. Wow. I just wasted all that time. Uh. Oh well. I wanted to make sure. Oh well, at least this way we'll live, uh, you know, get into more encounters, get more money, and then we can come back here and uh, gear up, because yes, I, I, that's right, I need to gear up a little bit before going to the first forest, I think. Because frankly, there's a lot of, from what I remember, um, 
quite a few items here in Snuffleheim that uh, seemed worth it. And yeah, I need to start gearing up more of the party again. Alright, let's try this again. Do I have any of those items to uh, up encounters just to, you know, get to the uh, place faster? I don't remember what they're called, so just bear with me. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if I do. Hang on. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, so let's go. That's another thing I hadn't tested yet is, you know, going up to the northern or southern edge um, and see if the world map loops back around, like in a lot of RPGs. Yeah. Alright, let's just heal up really fast. Just to be safe. Oops. Oh well. There we go. Let's see, we'll check out that island and then. I think I'll check out that lake as well. Yeah, looking at the time when I think I started this video. Oh wow, really? There has to be some treasure chest here, I would think. Um, yeah, I feel like this could be a really uh, long video. I know there's that crafting over there, but uh, we'll go this way. Specifically looking for a chest. Ah, uh, that's fine, I'll pick this up. So, Blossom. Nope, hang on. Oh, hello. Where with you, World Walker? I'm fishing for tribute, for tribute fit for a queen. All right, man. Okay. Oops. Uh, I wonder what my father is doing right now. I think I skipped. Uh, hang on. I think I skipped. Uh, okay. Yes, I did skip. Veronica and Serena's parents must be so happy to see them again. I wonder what my father's doing right now. Spreading lies and persecuting the innocent, no doubt. We have to defeat Morgan, Easy. It's the only way to make him see the truth. Yes! Alright, we got all the orbs we need. It's time for Serena and I to do our duty and take you up to Yggdrasil. I don't know what will happen when we get there, exactly. But as long as you've got me to look after you, I'm sure everything will go swimming away. When we finally come face to face with the heart of Yggdrasil, I'm going to give her my thanks for keeping you safe after all these years. After all, laddie, you're not only the Luminary and the Prince of Dundrasil, you're also one of my only grandson. You were, yeah, my one and only grandson. I don't know what I'd do without you.
Yeah, we'll see what happens. And you know, how close are we leveling? Easy's almost, so yeah. I kind of wanted to get at least, uh, we'll see about Rab, but uh, easy up to 30. Um, Veronica to 29. Ooh, Eric's about to be 30. Goodness, okay. I love how that switched around. He used to be lower than that. Once again, I still can't get over Reb. Let the darkness consume you. Whole thing. I just, I just find that hilarious. All right, where does this take us? Landlock C. What takes a lot? Landlock C. There's a door. Oh, excellent. See, that's what I wanted. What is that? What is that thing? Interesting. Hang on, I'll get in uh, combat in just a second. Alright, what do we have? Vial of Sainted Soma. Acquired 250 different types of items. Alright, let's... Let's try these guys. Ah, uh, we'll wait. We'll wait on that. Unless they do it automatically. Hang on. Okay. I thought there might be something else here. Alright, now let's continue. Oop, oop, hang on. <laughs> Mini metal. I think I have enough now to get that last stamp. Yeah, something else I need to quickly do um, right before I go to the forest is just warp back to the academy, turn that in, and then go back. I'll try to. I'll keep a mental note of that. All right, one more island, and I think we're good. Cause yeah. Um, We'll see what happens. I think I've been everywhere. For the most part. Uh, been there, been there, been there. I mean, we could go back to Heliodor. Um, which, you know, that might be where this is going to lead us next. You know, something, you know, with uh, uh, Jade's father. We'll see. Everybody's getting powered up. Uh, let's just regular attack. But everybody, goodness. Alright, last island, what do you have for us? Well, first get into combat, then we'll see. <laughs>
Nice. Yeah, level 30. More heal. Excellent. Yep, disembark. Ah, dang it. We'll still check it out, but looks like another, uh, you know, we need a different type of key. We probably won't get much of this. Um, the spells. Uh, ah, uh, let's. Nah, I'm good. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I didn't think. Uh, you know the slimes would have would have dropped you know that or that much experience. So it's one of those guys. Um, any treasure chests here? It was it's kind of pot. There we go. Mini meadow. I'm glad I checked. Slime crown. So yeah, getting another mini medal that confirms there has to be another page to that stamp book, which makes sense. I figured there'd be a little bit more uh, medals than what I've retrieved so far. Uh, let's see. Any other goodies here? How close is anybody else leveling? Veronica's almost there. Eric's almost there, and Rab's getting there. I think I want to level all three up before we fully go there. Let me just double check, whoops. Okay, door locked tight. Let's try, let's try this guy. They look happy. King slide. I'll just attack twice. Oh, they might be really tough if they're... Oh, don't heal him. Come on now. Oh, no. No, we're good. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, boy. Spells. More heal. That's beautiful. I'm glad I picked that up. Here, guys. Dang, they're still going. There we go. Oh man, got a lot of experience from that. Boom! Excellent. Barracks 30. And how close is Rab? He's getting there. And also Servando. Servando will probably level as well. Um, so yeah, with that, uh, let us zoom. Because we've been all there. Um, Hang on. Um, okay, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's first go to the academy. Before I forget, let's turn in the mini metal. We'll see what we get. And how much money? <clears throat> Excuse me. Goodness, have I acquired? Oh wow! Only f almost four thousand. That's it. Yikes. 
Depending on what happens, I might have to just buy one thing. We'll see. Of course, I know I have a few things to probably sell. We'll see. Hello, Headmaster. Nice. Is that it? Max out this page, but your career of metal detector extraordinary is not at an end. What does she got? Nice. Total reach is 25. Nice, okay. Well, first, let us check out... Oh, was it the rune staff? Ooh, that looks better. Uh, let's just check Rab really fast. No, yeah, let's, let's, I'm glad I came back here. There we go. Oh, uh, a little eyeball. Interesting. If it had, like, you know, the tentacles and multiple eyes and all, it'd be like a little beholder. Anyways. Uh, since we're here, let's rest up just so everybody can be healed up. Uh, it is this one? Shoot, is it just free to sleep here? Because my goodness. Yeah! Well then, shoot, I need to remember that. You know, just zoom back here if I want to just sleep free of charge. My goodness. So we've done that. Okay. Um, let us zoom... Let's go back here, really fast, to the Snare Felt, before we go back to Snowfallheim. And the reason for that is I want to get into a few more encounters, get more money. Okay, we're here, so let's start heading this way, then. Hang on. I'm trying to remember, was it out here, or was it actually in the... I feel like it was in the... Uh, other place where we were getting a good bit of experience. We'll, we'll find out. Yeah, gather up a little bit more money, get Rab and Servando, I think, up to 30. And then we'll see. Yeah, I think it was this first part we could get a lot of experience. Yeah, here we go. Man, Jade has just become a powerhouse. Like, that's exactly what I wanted. Darkness, hear me. Alright. 1,210. So... Just a little bit more. Okay. Let's do it again. Yeah, bring him over here. I think it's the first time we've seen that. Nice. There we go. Another day, another victory. Okay, Serena's up. We'll look at the points the next time we level. Dang, Jade, my goodness. 
I mean, granted, everybody right now is doing quite a bit of damage, but we'll see. Okay. Just for safety's sake, I'm gonna heal up. Okay. You know, I wonder if Metal Slash will work on this. Yes, it does. Awesome. I figured since it was a metal body, you know. There we go. Multi heal. Let's spend the points. Uh, is there anything I can do? Um, oh, yeah, I was trying to save up for uh, Giga Slash. 25 points, so yeah, I'll save that. Veronica, you get. Um. Maximum MP, Magical Might. Let's give you Magical Might. Let's make you more intense with your spells. And Serena. And yeah, Thunder. Yeah, let's do it. Make sure she gets all the buffs. Savando, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Savando. Um. Let us... Hmm. What is this? Restore release. HP, that's also good. Actually, I think I would have enough. Yeah. What's over here? No, yeah, let's, let's do this. And what's this one? Charm? Nah. We'll do that. Jade will get absolutely get more critical chance. I don't have enough for that, um, but almost. Let's see, increase her agility. That's the claws. I say let's increase the agility by 30. Make her a powerhouse. Oh yeah, then we can go for strength. Uh, make her a powerhouse and just make her go faster. All right, Reb. Um, you got strength. No, nah. magical mending possibly. Yeah, or MP. Ooh, what's this one? Increases agility. He might need agility just to go faster in his turns. Let's do Mending. But the sole fact of I've been using, you know, Rab for for healing for a good bit, so... Alright. Gained a thousand. How close is Sylvando? Let's get into one more fight. Just to level up Sylvando. Hang on. And then we'll go to Silfelheim, and then to the forest. Oh, I guess I was mistaken. If that was just a critical hit. I don't know, whatever. It's fine. That what happened last time. There we go. Alright, now let us zoom to... where is it? Where is it? There we go. Snuffleheim. Yeah, I have a feeling this could be a long video. Oop, hang on. There we go. I was kind of sprinting in the wrong directions. 
first we're gonna heal up. Actually, why? Oh my god. Oh no, we're good. I thought that said a thousand uh, gold coins or something. Um, I was gonna say, I could have just healed at the academy for a charge. Oh well. Oh well. Let's take a look at the items. Once again. Let's see, attack and defense. Let's look at defense first. Okay. Magical hat for Rab, possibly. Uh, Veronica, ooh, okay. Magical skirt. That does quite a bit. I don't have quite enough money just yet. That's good for, uh, Servando. And the garter. Um. Gotcha. I, I find it funny that this lingerie is now... That's, that's weird. It's only a thousand and it gives that much defense. I'm... I don't know. I don't know about that. That's... That seems crazy. Let's see. So we get the skirt or the hat. That just seems nuts. How much defense I have? 40? Ah, no, I'm not gonna buy it just yet. I thought about it. Um, what do we have to sell? Um, let's see. Rap hasn't been using claws, so I'm gonna get rid of those. Yes. Uh, keep that wand for right now. Actually, yeah. No, let, let's get rid of it. And same with Jade's claws. Okay, Veronica, you have... Get rid of this cap. Serena... I think we need to get rid of that. Ah, uh, let's get rid of this lance for sure. And then the cloak. Eric, you have quite a bit on you, it looks like. Oh, I say. Um, we have those, so... Get rid of the Divine Dagger. And the curse. Spawn does good. Have I really been gathering all these things and we don't? Oh no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me double check something. No, maybe... I don't want to accidentally sell something and, you know, they have it equipped, but I don't think so. We're gonna sell this chainmail for sure. It doesn't show it is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sell that. Oops, iron claws again. Let's just do that for now. All right, let's go to buy. And let us do Actually hang on. Let's check before we commit. Before we commit, let's check the weapons. Okay, it's a good a good sword, but I do like attacking twice. That's a great sword, it's a knife, that probably is really good. Oh, it's nine thousand though. Oh my gosh. 
That one's also good. The claws I'm not going to worry about. Last enemies with barrage of the vice. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to worry about that staff. That that knife, though, for Eric. Oh my goodness. We'll, we'll boost defense. We'll go, we'll go with armor. I think I've finally made a decision. So, let's get the magical hat. Get it for Rab. And then, magical skirt for Veronica. And let's just double check to see if I made the right decision. Okay, her charm goes way down, but that's that's okay. Magical might increases, defense increases, magical mending apparently. That's okay. I can leave with that and the hat. What did he have on? Maybe the feather cap. See, so yeah, magical mending goes down. And charm goes down. But defense goes up a good bit. And Magical Might. Yeah, let's keep that. I'm fine with that. This guard here, I swear. Um, let's try it. Let's just try it. Oh, accessory is equipped. Oh, okay. It's an accessory. I should have, I guess, looked and checked, but that's okay. Increases that. Increases that. Okay, so lowers attack, and then again, lowers attack. Hmm. I feel like I should, though. So 129 to 134. Uh, bear with me as I'm crunching numbers here. Hang on. Wait, hang on. Oh, yeah. If it only lowers it to 198 with uh, just getting me that. Yeah, let's do that. So then strength ring... Can I give it to easy, maybe? Hang on. Uh, where's it at? Oh, wait. Duh. She has it. Items. Transfer. Easy. Equipment. Whoops. Uh, there we go. It would lower his defense, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that, I think. We have 2,000 left. Is there anything else? For Hood. Maybe we can get that to... Actually, maybe Silvando needs that. My goodness. Uh, 116, 108. 103. Actually, I might need to give that to Serena. Let's do that. Let's give this to Serena. It probably lowers her... Uh, whatchamacallit? The... The Mending, or the Might. Mending's not much, by much, it looks like. Um, Medical might I'm not worried about. That's fine. That's fine. Alright. Finally, after that shopping spree. My goodness. Um, if you've bared with me during this, thank you. Alright, everybody's leveled. So, let us zoom. Aboria, let's do it. We're going to the first forest, and oh my goodness. Looking at the time. Oh, I'm debating whether or not to call this video. 
I don't know. I feel like I should just keep going to Yggdrasil. I don't want to like make like a two hour video. I don't know if... Like, would y'all be cool with that? I mean, of course I can't. I only will know in hindsight, I guess. Um, but man, that's a long time to watch a video. Let's, let's talk to him first. Let's just see how far we are to Yggdrasil. Well, honored luminary, shall we proceed? We'll see what happens here, then I'll make my decision. Tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the Luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. No, the first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Erdria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend, he went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. That makes sense, because Serenica, a combination of Serena and Veronica's name. That's that's funny. Nice. As for Mordekin, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. I skipped the good luck. Oh well. To make your way one step closer to Yggdrasil, go through these doors and follow the mountain trail to the first forest. Altar you seek is at the very highest point of the Holy Grove. The, fir the forest overflows with life, but not all is friendly. You would do well to stop by the armory before you make your ascent. Pray, speak with fellow Avorians too. Their knowledge of local flora and fauna may aid your preparations. Go forth, my child, and may you find that which might aid you in the fight to save our world. I wish you the very best of luck. Hang on, there's an armory here? I don't see it on the map. Um... Anyways. The Nassim. The birth of Ed Erdwin. Luminary of legend marked the beginning of the Age of Heroes. The Fall. Almighty Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all light, was laid low by the Dark One. I'm surprised it, it has come back. If it was on fire and all. Uh, well, I say that. I mean... Magic and all, it could probably, you know, rejuvenate, etc. The Reckoning. Erdwin and his faithful companions ventured forth to face the Dark One in mortal combat. Wait a minute. Yeah, you can kind of see... You can't see a face or anything, I don't think, but you can see a hand. 
coming out of the dark clouds and I don't know, interesting. The Ascension. After triumphing over the Dark One and restoring peace to Ed Edria, the Luminary sends to the heavens to watch over us forevermore. Thus, the, the star. Makes sense. Uh... I'm going... Actually, first, let's go to the mountaintop. Or, wait. Oh, wait, we can go around. I was like, am I crazy? I think I will. Uh, I don't know. I was going to say not go to Yggdrasil yet. And I know by your guys' perspective, you can see how long this video will be. Where am I going? Um, so you'll know the answer. Especially the above. Oh, okay, never mind. We... Interesting. Still can't go there. Let's take a quick look. I wish I could see how long I've been going, uh, video-wise. And depending on what happens, I mean, I don't know, I don't want to spend, like, another hour of just one video. I don't know, that, like I said, that's a lot to upload. Oh, man. Yeah, we're not even to the first forest. Let's go to the campsite. Let's get to the campsite. That looks awesome, though. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought they were like little aliens. Like, what I mean is, like, from the movie Alien. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. Oh well. Dragon Slash, let's do it. We dodged it. Nice. Hey, another one of those things. Mini metal. I'm going to try to bypass his ogre. Alright. Let us rest. We'll rest till noon. Alright. We'll save there. I think I've made my decision. We'll save there. I'll save it for next time. Um, like I said, not really sure how long this video actually was. It might, it'd probably be over over an hour. Maybe an hour and a half. I don't know. That's, that's long enough. Um, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and tuning in to another episode. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen next. Um... You know, next time we're going to go to the first forest, we're going to go to Yggdrasil. And we're going to see what happens when we, uh, you know, if any other information gets displayed or, you know, brought forth to us by Yggdrasil or what have you. I don't know. I'm not sure what else is coming. But anyways, as always, wherever you guys are, have a good day, have a good night, and take it easy, everyone.